Hello and welcome to Solid Workstation. My name's Stuart and in today's tutorial we're going to look at creating this part from Model Mania 2020. We're going to do phase one in this video. Um, if you run into any problems, get in touch and I'm more than happy to help you out. Best of luck everyone and let's get started. So I'm going to open up um, a new part. To start off with, I'm going to go straight into my top plane and normal two. Now, I'm going to start with this uh, cylinder, this extruded cylinder here. Uh, the reason that I've chosen this, okay, is because I believe it's it's central to this particular uh, design, um, and it's probably the best place to to start. So, looking at our top view, we've got two circles, one of diameter 16, one of diameter 22, and we've got three. Uh, radius 6 or diameter 12 uh, circles that are equally spaced around 360 degrees okay center to center 120s so I'm going to start off with these two circles and then I'm going to put this um, diameter 12 radius 6 circle in here that sits 35 millimeters away from the center of this circle so let's go ahead and do that so sketch two circles from the origin point 16 and 22 remember so smart dimension this one at 22 smart dimension this one at 16. i'm going to put in a line which is going to be a construction line from here just out that's fine and put my circle in here now this was radius 6, diameter 12. Okay, and this line was 35. I'm now going to draw two tangent lines here. Okay. Click on this line and mirror entities. Mirror about this line. Green tick. And I'm going to smart dimension the angle from here to here at 22. I'll just show you that on the drawing. So these are my tangent lines that I'm drawing. And a 22 degree gap okay, separates those two lines. I'm going to continue these all the way up to a center line that I'm going to draw now. Um, so back into SolidWorks. I'm going to draw in a line. I'll just make this line and this point here, I'm going to make them midpoint and green tick. Perfect. Right. Let's uh, extrude. So I'm going to go to features, extrude boss base, selected contours. I'm going to go one, two, and three and these need to go 22 millimeters okay to the top of the cylinder so i'm going to put in 22 and green tick okay now my sketch has disappeared so to make that reappear let's click on this go on to sketch and click on the show and now we need to create um the extrude for this now it's at an angle but i know that angle that angle is here in section aa it says it's 112 and i know where this stops this stops six millimeters okay before it hits um the ground uh, level so let's put that in i'm going to go to a front view normal to sketch line draw a line all the way through and down to the origin. Make this line for construction. Smart dimension between these lines at 112. And give this a value from this point to this as 6. Green tick. Go to surfaces. If this isn't available, right click and ensure it is here. We're going to do a revolve surface. Okay, the line of revolution is picked up as uh, this line, 
and it's chosen this line uh, that we drew um, at 112 degrees to uh, choose as the surface revolve and green tick. Now from here we need to uh, extrude uh, this sketch up. So we're going to click on our sketch, we're going to go features, extrude boss base and we're going to pick our contours 1, 2 and 3. And we're going to say extrude up to surface. Okay, It's asking for our surface now face or plane okay click on our surface and green tick now if we click on our surface again and press the tab key on the keyboard it will disappear um, temporarily and we can hide our sketch as well by going and clicking on the icon and hide perfect right the next bit we need to put in a few holes okay here we've got three times um, diameter 4.5 through um, diameter 8, okay, 4 millimeters from the far side, counter bore for M4. Okay, I think the best way to tackle this would be to use the hull wizard and to manipulate the sketch. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, in features, you've got hull wizard, go to hull wizard and hull type counter bore. Um, make sure you're in metric. Uh, the socket head cap screw that's mentioned here socket head cap screw so we've got that and it's M4 and we've got M4 selected here okay position click on this surface and control 8 on your keyboard hover over this point here move across and we'll get a center point there it is and drop that in green tick now it told us in this particular drawing that the um, it's four millimeters from the far side all right um, so we need to we need to change this because at the moment we haven't got that okay this should just be a hole all the way through which it is okay so we need to change this sketch so this sketch four okay click on this and edit I would do control 8 on your keyboard now. Bear in mind we are upside down now on the model. Okay, and what I would do is control 8 again. And I would just zoom in. I would click on uh, this uh, dimension and I would just grab this point here, move it up to the top. This should say, yeah, 18, and change that to 4. Okay, so what you will have, okay, once we flip this model around, is four millimeters uh, from from the end so if we just exit this sketch now let's do control seven for an isometric just have a little look in there there we go perfect okay next step is we need three of these um, as we can see they're equally spaced 120 apart around 360 degrees three of them so this is really simple to do just click on the um, features uh, that we want to um, circular pattern so this one hold down control and this one go to linear pattern circular pattern um, direction you can either use this edge or this inside face three around 360 perfect and green tick okay last couple of things we have got a radius of 22 to put in uh, we've got a radius of one to put in all the way around here and around here and we've got a material to select which is plain carbon steel and then we're done so let's go to fill it that's in the features tab fill it we want a constant size fillet we're going to click on this and we get some options we're going to choose connected to start loop we're going to put in 22 uh, millimeters here so change this value to 22 green tick we're then going to go back to fillet constant size fillet click on this edge change this to one and this edge and green tick what I like to do now is go into appearances scenes and decals 
grab a solid appearance and just drag that onto um, the fillet face. Oops. Like so. Um, just makes it easier. So should I change this fillet? So should I go edit feature? Um, maybe put this on at 1.5, let's say. Um, just the changes can be seen really, really quickly, really easily. Um, okay, the final thing that we need to do is to place in a material that was, let me just check, yeah, plain carbon steel. Really easy, this one, because it's one of the quickest ones to pick. So um, go to material, right click, and if we right click here, we don't need to go to edit material, it's already here. Plain carbon steel, just click on that, and there you have it. There is phase one complete of Model Mania 2020. Uh, well done for those that got this far. If you did run, run into any uh, difficulties, do get in touch. I'd be more than happy to help you out as always. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been Solid Workstation. I've been Stuart. Thank you very much and see you soon for phase two. Goodbye.